child. So what would prophet, the Prophet Wasallam say if someone asked him, how to handle a child who has gone to the wrong side of life? What should the parents do? Mm-hmm. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you ease and help in that. It's definitely, definitely a trial. SubhanAllah. In this, I remind a couple of things. I don't know the age of this child. I'm assuming they're actually a bit older, but I may be wrong. And this idea of a parenting, which probably needs a whole other lesson in and of itself. I have a teacher, mashallah, who's so beautiful. She has these beautiful lessons in this concept of raising a spiritual child. And in short, and they're available actually at the Rahma Foundation, if you want to check out the website there. Um, uh, she had done a series with us, subhanAllah. In this discussion, the reason I bring it up is one of the main things we talk about in parenting is the importance of the early intervention as much as possible. When it's, that's the upstream. When something has already happened kind of more downstream in which a young person has decided for themselves that they are wanting to explore or to have that first trial, like we talked about in Surah Sikath, the trial of faith. And so they are not sure about this faith anymore and all of its rules. And so they're kind of going down another path. In that trial comes this very important aspect of needing to um, seek out the, sort, the help and assistance for yourself. Here's why I say that. A lot of people are like, do something for that kid. I do a lot of youth work. At the Rahma Foundation, we have a lot of youth programming that we do every single week, week in and week out, and summer camps and all kinds of things with young girls. And this it's the same answer I always give. There are always parents who come and say, fix my kid, right? Particularly teens and older. And we'll say to them, that's not how this works, subhanAllah. The way this works is that that person now has their own autonomy in life. They do. They have made some of their own decisions. So what do you do as a parent? You get the help for yourself to be able to then help inspire them towards that next step of stage in life. You never stop trying. You never stop your du'as, right? The power, the power of du'a. I tell you countless stories about the power of du'a. And if you have to have certainty inside of your heart that if you have given them the love of Islam, if you have given them those kernels, those seeds, and it's in there, we call it the lub, right? Kind of right in the core of your heart, like that lub of Islam. That even if they kind of go around a little bit and explore different things and take different paths, that eventually with your du'as and your continued love and support and your continued open door and your continued good advice, that eventually they come that is the hope and shell. We've seen this so many times over and over, and it's heartbreaking. But it is possible. And the reason I say make sure you get the support for yourself is that the rule of therapy here is you can't change someone else, particularly once they've become a grown person. You can inspire a change in someone else, but you can't change someone else. So work on your own self to have the kind of ability to then inspire goodness into that person that you love so dearly. And to learn how not to close the door and to how not to get so angry and upset and to not lose it and then lose them. Right? That needs a lot of good skills and techniques. It is part of parenting, but it's a little more of the downstream. And the best solution would be all the upstream techniques of parenting. But inshallah ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the ability to have both <laughs> upstream and downstream assistance. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring your loved one back to the path. Allahumma.